So because Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was a mercy of Allah subhanahu wa taala. So our fight and our dispute is gone. So as much as you gain, so say salat ala Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, wa salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim. And whenever you hear the name of Muhammad, say sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In the hadith it is said. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked his Sahaba, "Atadruna man il bakhil? Do you know that who is the miser guy? Who is the miser? So miser guy is that one. The distance between his hand and pocket is almost ten thousand miles. Yes, he will approach it. But inshallah, in next generation, not it now. So he is the miser guy. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked him, 'Atadruna man il bakhil? That you know that who is the bakhil and the miser guy? They said, Allah wa Rasulu Alam. Whenever Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asking a question in such a tone. So there, the Sahaba they used to pick up the bottom line. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is giving us a new knowledge. So they used to say, Allah wa Rasulu Alam. Allah and His Messenger they know the best. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al Bakhi man zukir to indhu falay rasulli alayya. That the utmost miser is that guy in front of whom my name is mentioned, Muhammad, and he did not say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And do you know that in a hadith narrated by Imam Tirmizi, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Man salla alayya wahda, salla Allahu alayhi ashra." Whenever somebody says "Salla Allahu Alaihi Wasallam," only one son Muhammad, Salla Allahu Alaihi Wasallam, he will get ten hasanat. Ten hasanat. So you don't know that what is the price and the value of hasana on the day of judgment. We know that every dollar counts and dollar dollar has. So at least you can get a Coca Cola or a Pepsi for that one dollar. So it has a price. It has a value. So if I will say that if you will say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so I will give you ten dollar. So then you will not allow me to speak more. Here you will start Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then you will calculate and multiply that I said it one hundred times, multiply by ten, give me one thousand dollar. You know what I'm saying? So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that whenever you you heard my name and you said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you will be getting ten hasanat on the day of judgment. In Hadith, it is narrated by Imam Tirmizi, rahmatullah alayhi, that on the day of judgment, one guy, after his accountability, he will be very much upset. Oh, Subhanallah! I need only one hasana. I need only one hasana to get into Jannah. But if I will not get it, so my place is other way around. So there will be one guy. He will ask him, "Yes, I see you are too much upset." Why? What's going on? So he will relate his story that I have a shortage or shortcoming of only one hasana. Otherwise, I will get into jannah. So that guy will say that I am going to the hellfire anyway. In my whole life, I have done only one hasana, and that's accepted to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So let me give it to you. At least your job is done. You will go there. I am going the other way anyway. So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says he will sacrifice. He will make his isa wa yusruna wa anfusim wa lo kana bi khasasa. What is the best type of sadaqa? The best type of charity when you are in need and you are making charity when you don't need it. If somebody he is, he is a billionaire and he give you one thousand dollar or let's say ten thousand dollar, what it means? May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless him. But if somebody he has only five dollars and he said, Oh, Sheikh, so you are making this masjid? Okay, this is five dollar. That what I have. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a hadith, Sahaba asked him that Ayu Sadaqat Afzal, what type of charity is the best one? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Juhud al Mukil. What? Juhud al Mukil, the effort of someone who does not have much more and he is giving his hundred percent. And thus by Tabu, when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he asked the Sahaba for donation, yes, but he will come and he will say donate generously. Yes, donate generously and. Not you. I'm talking about some other places. A person is thinking ten times: Should I put one dollar or not? Should I? Yes. It can give me one pepsi. So why should I put it here? So anyhow, my dear respected brother and sister of Islam, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, for us by Tabu, he said, donate generously. Then, as I mentioned, that Abu Rahman ibn Auf رضي الله تعالى عنه, just imagine forty thousand dollar he donated for only us by Tabu. How many? Forty thousand dollars, and saying now Osman رضي الله تعالى عنه, he was standing again and again, and he used to say me atu abar and be ahlas ha wa aktabe ha hundred cable fully loaded. Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم once again said more. So Osman used to stand me atu abar and be ahlas ha wa aktabe ha more. So Osman was standing for the third time me atu abar and be ahlas ha wa aktabe ha. We need more me atu abar and be ahlas ha wa aktabe ha. Then Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم told him that Usman, we need a lot. 
Yes, so Osman radiallahu ta'ala do you know that he stood up and he said, Oh, the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever is the need of the army, I will do that. Whatever is the need of this army, 30,000 going for 1,200 miles. How many? 1,200 miles in desert. And fighting with whom? With the superpower of that time. Usman said that, Oh, the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I will try to my best. And then he was going to his businesses. He had chain. So he was going to his businesses and asking the, the uh, people on the counter, that, how much you have? Just put it here. Yeah? He was bringing up on the register and put it here. Then to other business, how much you have registered? Just put it here. And then Usman he was holding a big bunch like this and came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and put it there. Yes, so Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that from now onward, whatever Usman will do, it will never harm him because he purchased the Jannah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He bought it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So anyhow, my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, as much as you can, Say salat on the Nabi and do the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, as you know that you did a lot, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you. Because I was telling this brother today that we were paying $10,000 for this hall for one month, alhamdulillah. And we had a lot of other expenses for our iftar as well and for our khatam. So almost 20 plus thousand dollars we spent only in one month, but you gave it. These youth gave it. Our sisters gave it. These brothers gave it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you. And as you know, that we got this new place and we are fixing it. One brother, he is doing the whole construction. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and their family. Amen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them. These youngsters, these youth who are standing in front of you, they are students, most of them. But once I was making jokes with them, that you are doing a lot. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you. But a time will come that your parents will say that you are taking the whole money to Sheikh and his mother, what we will do? <laughs> so I tell them, just hold on. Yes. Yeah. Hold on. So anyhow, these brothers are doing a lot. You brothers are doing a lot. Our sisters, they have done a lot. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them. But Fahim will tell you that one brother, he was supposed to give us the carpet. Yes, but he got in bond in uh, something like that. So he said that now I am in a bad situation. So I will give you thousand dollars. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. Because he met the intention for intention, he got the reward. But anyhow, we need for that as well. So whosoever can do that, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Wa dawana. Alhamdulillah.